Hey everybody, welcome back to Unedited Pops. My name is Josh Fuller. I have to give out a shout out to my son, Peyton Fuller. He has his own YouTube channel. He wanted me to give a shout out. I think he wants me to say to subscribe to his channel. All lowercase letters, P-U-I-T-O-N, space, F-U-L-L-E-R. I spelled his name, spelled his name too fast again. Look up Peyton Manning's first name. That's how you spell Peyton. So anyways, I'm here to talk to you about 40th Anniversary Empire Strikes Back uh, Pops. As you know, I don't collect a lot of Star Wars Pops because there's just way too many of them. But, the one that Yoda and my wife has, I think is a Best Pin Yoda, where that's the where Yoda is from. I have a, no, not Best Pin. That's Cloud City. That's my Gold Luke. That's that's from Dagobah. Dagobah is where Yoda it's not his whole planet. It's where he uh, decided to make his home after the reven uh, events of Revenge of the Sith. Sith. But my two favorite movies, Empire Strikes Back and Revenge of the Sith. So, on a, let's go apply for a house. On the way back, we stopped off at Target and we got an empty box. <laughs> uh, no, guys, it's the Luke Skywalker and Yoda. And up behind me somewhere. There he is. The one thing I like about the Star Wars Pops guys is they're on their own stand. I forgot to cover my face. There we go. That way it focuses on the pop, not my face. So, I wish the Yoda was a bobblehead like it is with Rocket and Groot and the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 Marvel Collector Core exclusive. That's one of my... Uh, Favorite pops, I should do a top 10, but then I have to go unboxing some pops, though. I packed away. So, there he is. Yoda, training Luke, and my son is distracted because my other son's trying to get his attention who is filming my video for me. So, next is this one's more of my wife's. This is Dagobah Yoda with his home, the hut. Not Jabba the Hutt. So there you go. I look on the back here. I see Empire Return of the Jedi Pops from Han Solo, Princess Leia, Darth Vader. I rather much have the uh, ones on the back of this box. The two pack of Han Solo, Princess Leia, and the Han Solo Frozen Carbonate. And I know you guys want to see Yoda. That is that. My wife is the Yoda fan in this family. And she liked that this pop is between him. Why are you filming the four? God, you know, my son handed off to my other son who doesn't film all that great. Sorry, 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 sorry. But she's the Yoda fan. And sorry for my dirty pants being on the floor, guys. I haven't picked them up to wash them yet. I'm removing stuff around. I was looking for stuff yesterday, mostly packing stuff, and I found a lot of crap underneath the bed. So. You know, there's that. This is the front. The front looks better. And uh, if you look at it, maybe you can see, like, this is part of his spaceship that he landed on the planet with. Maybe why, why there's so much technology. And, of course, it said, you know, Yoda with Hut. So, you know, there is Yoda, like I said. The stand. My wife brought up a good point after looking at these. She said, every pop should come with stands. Because not all of them stand up good. You don't have to worry about the Star Wars ones not, you know, standing up all that good. This is when he's on the log and I think he first encounters Luke. I don't know why this is one of my uh, favorite Star Wars movies. I don't like any of the new three ones after that episode 7, 8, 9 call. Fight me. But, um, I don't know why Empire Strikes Back. It's a dark one. So is Revenge of the Sith in a way. I guess I'm just, I'm morbid I guess. I don't know. This is where he encounters Luke. He's on the log for the first time. He's playing with all of his electronics. He's telling a great... I mean, it's such a great story. Because he's telling Yoda or Luke about the Force. And Luke's trying to figure out how he knows about the Force. We're all trying to figure out ourselves. Not really realizing, oh, this must be Yoda. Because you're expecting someone to be like, like Obi-Wan. Maybe Buffer or a little older too. Well, he's a lot older. <laughs> but that, you know, I expect this great guy. Not this green, you know... Frog Muppet looking thingy. <laughs> uh, I can't wait till I get my tennis child. Oh, it sucks. This stupid crap. No. 
know it's like about till July. So you know me, I hardly collect Star Wars stuff, and uh, Empire Strikes Back. I would. It was between Yoda and his hut, or uh, Luke riding the uh, what do they call this things on the snow planet. There's a uh, oh, I haven't watched this movie in like a year or two. Um, if you guys remember what it was called. The, um, the store creatures that Luke was writing later. Han cuts open with his lightsaber, you know. Leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Cause I, I, I'm just drawing a blank right now. I can't remember what they're called. Taun, tauntauns? Tauntauns. Tauntauns? Am I even saying it right? Because I think that's what they're called. So leave me a comment section. That's again, if I pronounce it wrong, leave me a comment in the, down in the comment section. And um, I'm going to shout out uh, another YouTuber. I'm going to have to look him up named Todd. He said he wanted to do a YouTube video with me. So I'm going to have to find him and uh, see when he if he still is interested in that. And if you like this video, you know, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, I'll give it a thumbs down. You know, people don't like videos. <laughs> if you want to subscribe, hit that subscribe bell. That way you are always informed when I drop a new video. Have a good day. And uh, hopefully this quarantine... Crap bed soon. No, uh, yeah, just stay safe. And I'll see you next time.